Hey there guys, what's going on? And welcome back to episode 13 of the Ultima RTG. Now in today's one, you're gonna be seeing our brand new starting 11. Now the original team yesterday, the reason why I broke it up and sold most of those players on is because I was losing far too many games in division one. I've only got 12 left to determine how well I'm playing to decide the rank that I finish in. So that's not good. And also, yesterday's video, some of you guys didn't take too kindly to the advice that I tried to give you. And that was losing your placement games and getting your bearings with the game, starting off at the bottom, working your way through and progressing not only your objectives, but your rival's actual rank. And at the time, I didn't see that as like a toxic um, environment or really like going out of your way to relegate yourself. But then after further thought, it is pretty toxic if you're going out of your way to lose games and play against easier opponents. So I apologize. That's on me. I'm sorry about that. But one thing that I wanted to just go over is that the reason why I try and give that advice is because already the game is unfair. You're coming up against FIFA point spenders during early access and they've got an advantage and they could be in Division 3, Division 4. They could be all over the place. And that's why I think that... There is just that that toxic vibe with FIFA like generally because of FIFA points and everyone's got an unfair advantage. What I'd like to see though is EA do their job and try and maybe balance out some of the objectives as well as the rewards, uh, especially when it comes to like playing so many games or getting so many wins, like those specifically should be dynamic. And what I mean by that is if you're in Division 7 and it says win 50 games in division rivals and you get promoted to division six that objective should change to then like 45 wins required and then you go up again and then it only requires 40 wins you go up again 35 so do you understand what i mean so the harder and tougher opponents that you play the less amount of wins required and i think that would stop a lot of people dropping themselves down in fact i think more people would want to be promoted because they play less games and they get packs but that's just me and that's my advice but anyway, hopefully you guys are doing well and you're enjoying the RTG series. And if you want to leave a like, that'd be greatly appreciated. It takes two seconds. And if we can get like 3000 plus, it really helps push the channel out to those that aren't subscribed. And if you aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps. So transfer list, boys. Uh, a lot has gone down and we've sold Eden Hazard. Now, this was not on me, okay? I, I did not want to sell Hazard. I had a lot of people actually say... Fuge, get rid of him. And I was thinking, hang on a minute. I've literally bought the card. He's been playing well in a cam position, working the play, assisting, scoring goals. I really enjoy him on the game. But Hazard in that team, was he really carrying the side? He was trying to. I'll be honest, he was trying to. But with the lack of support around him, it just wasn't balanced at all. I, I didn't personally like the team. I wasn't getting on with it. And after further thought, I sat there on stream for about an hour or so thinking, do I sell Hazard? What do I build? And I was just brainstorming some squads. And eventually, Hazard was sold. And the reason why is because after having experience on the other account with certain cards, we are lacking that Aubameyang type striker, Werner, Mbappe, that has the speed and power leading the line. I think that's really, really important because counter-attacks are so effective this year that you want to be able to break away. And Hazard's great and all, like he's nice, but having like a Jal Felix striker, or who did I have at the time? I didn't even know who I was using striker. Um, so put it this way, the team was not good enough and we were losing so many games and already it's Tuesday, and Friday, we've got foot champs. So we need to put together a foot champs team, not even just like a standard division rivals. We need to build a foot champs squad. And Danovic sold, uh, Alexandro sold, and good thing we didn't lose any coins. Alexandro sold for 21,750, uh, Artur 4,006, Akara, I think we made coins, right? Because we picked him up for 14,000. Better RB 2005, we actually made coins off him because we bought him for 1,006. Luckily, open bid. That's what you want to do. Either you snipe or you open bid for cheap. Uh, that's the best way to buy players. Well, that's the only way to buy players. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Willian, 2003. And Babu we bought for 6k, which was very, very nice. 9,000. I should have bought more of him, really. Um, he was tough to get, though. 9,000. And then the last player that I've got to sell is... Nine Golan. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, I bought him with a position modifier. And he still doesn't sell for 16,000 bin. And he should, because 
it's a good card. I like him. But what I'm about to show you right now, boys, is... Oh, man. It's an incredible creation because of the fact that we've used some of these cards in the past and we've been able to take, like, one or two players from the original teams and put them together in, like, a final build. Like, this is the boss level. You, you see this squad, okay? Be honest with yourself. Do you think this team right here has more of a balance than the last squad that I showed you in yesterday's episode? Oh yeah, it does. Well, I've answered that for you. Uh, 40,000 coins we've got left, so that will allow me to do a bit more trading. And some of the players that we've picked up, now this looks stacked, okay? So the main cards, uh, the main new purchases that we uh, have brought into the starting 11, Diego Carlos, 39,750. And I'll tell you a quick little story. I try to snipe this guy for about 30 minutes, maybe 20. Three of them popped up with the Shadow Chem start, 35,000, and I could not for the life of me snipe him. So eventually I was able to get a basic version, 39,750, bought a Shadow, 2005, add that on, and we've got a really good deal. So this card, six foot one, medium tight work rates, that is basically Virgil van Dyke. Well, the Brazilian Virgil, right? Just not as tall, and different work rates. No, what work rates does Virgil have? Medium, medium. Uh, the acceleration though and sprint speed and then that defending and physical, like he looks really, really good. And alongside Ella Mateo, there was nothing wrong with him. I think that partnership is sick. Wambasaka we bought for 30,000, which is a little bit pricey. But one thing I like with Wambasaka this year, which just seems really important, is to make sure your fullbacks stay back. Otherwise, they start pushing on, you're going to get caught. Medium high work rates, I like it, and it's defending. 85 stand tackle, I'm sorry. 85 for a fullback that is outrageous and i want him in my team uh rashford oh man rashford 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 160 that was a snipe 160,000 coins for rashford and this card is going up he's going up and i, I even spoke about him on stream and it must have been like 10 minutes or, or 15 minutes. And he already started going up 5,000, 10,000 coins. This card is what you want leading the line in the weekend league. And I'm really, really pleased that we've been able to make it happen. And would I sacrifice? Like if I had to do this team again, obviously I haven't played with it. But if you were to ask me the question, would you sacrifice Hazard to build this team? I, I would. Now looking at what we've been able to create. Oh, for sure. Uh, also, um, Vinicius Junior was bought 8,100 just to get on the wing and, and assist and just use his skills. And we've got three five-star skillers in this squad. Jal Felix, now this is where it's uh, a bit tricky because if I want to play 4-2-3-1, do I use Jal Felix as the middle cam or do I play 4 triple 2 and just have him alongside Rashford? Now, I'm personally going to use the 4 triple 2 to start and uh, have a feel for the team. Uh, Party is back. Because the first time I used him, I never applied a chem style. So I've invested in party and maybe he'll repay the favor and play well in game. So a shadow chem style, the chem styles do work this year. So acceleration, 78, and then his sprint speed would be 84. That's kind of mad. So if he doesn't work though, I'm going to go and purchase Fred and play him off chemistry because Fred gets a strong link, he gets a Brazilian link, and he looks really, really good on the ball. But then I'm lacking like an actual CDM because... Marcus Lorente is going to be the ball carrier. So what do you think anyway? Do you, do you like the look of that team? I think for um, something to use in the weekend league, well, I hope it plays well today, but it looks like a weekend league squad. We've got 40,000, like I say, that I'm going to try and turn that into like 100,000 coins. And then and then we're not really pressured as to where we finish in rivals uh, because I'll show you the rank now. It's not, it's not looking good. It's not looking good in rivals. I keep coming up against some decent opponents and nothing else to say like do i deserve the wins no uh do i want wins yes i want a lot of wins and i'm registered for foot champs so we are in rank is that four i think that's four yeah we're in rank four um but very very close to rank three let's say we get rank three right Forty-five thousand isn't bad but one rare mega pack one mega pack uh it's just it's not terrible it's not terrible and we're close and we've got 12 games remaining all right so let's go and play some matches now with our new team, Rashford, come on. You, I know Rashford will play well. It's just the other players like Dio, Carlos, Party, Wambasaka. Let's go. No big teams for the first one. Oh no, Hazard's going to punish me. 
I've sold him and he's come back already in the first game. Rashford, the five star skills and the speed having Rashford like leading the line is actually insane. He feels like a cheat code. He's actually insane. I'm so pleased I bought him. 160 is a bargain. And it's not because I bought him. Oh, yo, Joe Felix, well played. Yo, that's a pen. That's a pen. He did, did he not slide, try and slide tackle me or tackle me from behind when I was inside the box? Is, is, is he going to keep running? Yes, Diego Carlos. Huge interception. And clean interception as well. That's what we need. But that middle cam there would be really nice. Joe Felix dropping back again. Um, Rashford, just give it to him. Yes, Lorente. We've got to push Lorente up a little bit more. And then with uh, Rafa. We need that support. Hang on, Lorente. No way. There's no way he saved that. Come on. Oh, Chow Felix is through. Yes, good ball. Rashford on his debut. I'm telling you, boys. The best purchase. Oh, Danny Murray. Are you, are you, are you going? Because it's been a tough game and I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Do you know what's happening in that match? We both were sound at the back, not giving away too many chances. And he knew conceding that goal is going to be a rough game for him. Like, we, we are both on the same level. I'm not saying I was a lot better than him. We were on the same level. And it was one of those games that turned into more of a grind. Um, but Rashford, and that's what you want. You want someone that is going to put the goals in and just feel great on the ball. And Rashford, uh, I mean, he's got my, my praise. I love him. Really do like him on this game. They've made him so good. Straight back in. We are not waiting around. I should have waited. No. Mbappe? No, please don't. That's it. Go, go, Lorente. Carry it for us. Uh, in this position, Rafa. Now I've got Jal Felix as a middle cam. Do you know what? Ideally, wow, what a run. Oh, that's never going in, is it? Too close to the keeper. Do you know what I ideally want? Is bringing in a striker from, well, La Liga I'd have to, that can not only play as a striker, but also a very, very good cam. But it's a cam. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I've confused myself. Uh, I just need someone with pace, basically, and really good passing. So, yeah, Cam or Striker, they can play. I'm trying to break this guy down. Jao Felix. Because mm. Jao Felix is okay right as a striker, but as a middle cam, I don't know if he's going to really work that well. But I do like his five-star skills. I really like him. I just like five-star skills in general in this game. They've made them sick. Venetius is good on the ball, but as expected, he's always good. It's just that finishing is as good as a silver, really. But is it going to make too much of a difference? Rashford! Oh, man. Party. Uh, go on, Rashford. Good stuff, Rashford. Yo, look how much space he's in, and I don't get that in the 4 triple 2 Well played. Well played. I don't get that where they lose the defender. Like, in the 4-3-2-1, you find it. In the 4-3-3. But the 4 triple 2 I don't have that option just to quickly... Use as an outlet. Just helps to get those attacks going. Yo, Rafa, come here. Rafa. Rafa. Ooh. Excuse me, Rafa. What are you playing at? That was a very, very good opportunity to finesse that in. Please don't let me down. Yeah. Who's here? Who's here? Thomas. Well done. Thank you. Joe Felix. The speed. Oh, why not just use your heads? But already, just one little step through or one use of a skill move and you get on that front foot. What the hell is he doing? Oh, come on. If you want to give me some goals, that'd be fantastic. Yes. Maybe he heard me. Thank you for messing up. Oh, I can't get use out of that RB dribbling. That's an overhit pass from him. I think he's struggling. Oh, man. We are not doing anything in the attack, though. We're doing all right in this game. Now, in terms of creativity going forward, I mean, it, it isn't looking amazing. But at the back, that's what I want to do. Build from the back. Make sure we're keeping uh, a nice defense. And it's, it's what we're doing right now against this guy. But you know what the game's like. Second half could be totally different. And he's using 4-4-2. Tracking back, tracking back. I think he maybe maybe just offside. No? Well done, my Masaka. But this is where we're going to concede. I, I've, no, no, no. We're not going to concede. I'm going to start bringing out the keeper straight away if I see that the cursor is where I'm already selected. If it's there, I bring him out. Keeper, 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 keeper. Oh! I told you we were going to see, concede. 
I, I, I just knew it. I shouldn't have brought him out though. That was my bad. <laughs> nah, for real though, I can't stop conceding corners. It doesn't help when I do that. But no, I do not want to lose this game. Come on, we got to get a W. We have to win. There's no excuses. We have to win. That's good control, actually. Nice. Rafa. Yeah, here. Good play. Rashford, the shift. Rashford is unbelievable. You know what I mean. Now you believe me. Rashford is the man on this game. So far, this is good defending. He's, he's just waiting, waiting, waiting. As soon as we like bring up the wrong player, that's where he's going to punish us. This is fantastic from us right now. This is fine. You can keep doing that. He's, he, he wants me to uh, start pushing. That was my team, actually, that started doing that, pulling up at the wrong time. He can keep doing that all he likes. As long as we keep a good defense, no? Oh, that's a good play. Oh, man. Good patience from him. Thought I was defending well at that point. Oh, God's sake. Play switch up, 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 up. Give me my CDM. No, it's, it's Rossiel who scored. Oh, man. And the, and the problem with that, right, is that I flicked over to my CDM and I couldn't get him to pull him down to try and cover that run. So I was stuck. I need support here. Rashford. No, I screwed up again. Screwed up my attack. Damn. So the situation that we're in right now is that this team plays fairly well in the 4 triple 2 But when we want to switch to another formation, forcing Jal Felix to be played as a cam isn't really ideal. Like 74 passing. He's just not really working that well for me in that position. So for that reason, I want to rework the team and I want to drop him. Otherwise, we're going to be far too predictable in the weekend league or even not even that. It's like if something's not working against a certain opponent and you don't switch up, you're just doing yourself an injustice. You need to start changing up formation tactics to be able to find those gaps and exploit your opponent. But with uh, Party, I don't know what it is. I've played now two games with him again. And I just can't get on with this card. I don't know what it is. Like, when he's there to make a tackle, he feels okay. But something's just off with him. I don't know. And it's annoying because he gets chemistry. He's got really, really good stats. And I can't use him to full effect. And it's very, very annoying. Now, do you know who I am missing from this team? Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum was fantastic. Remember when we were using 4-4-2, the amount of goals that he was chipping in with and just assists and how he was building up play? Because Lorente I like, but I don't love Lorente. Like, he's good and all, and he's like this overpowered card and he can like run about, but he's not, he's not really what I want in my team. And I know it's weird because you look at him and it's like one of the best players to go and purchase if you're on a budget. But yeah, I don't really want him in my team uh but i can't really be too picky because we're on a budget but venetius wasn't bad like carrying the ball um rafa was okay in those games rashford was brilliant as always so we need a cdm and we need a well basically we need a cam and i was thinking like what about uh marcial marcial can he play um hold on marcial Wow, am I spelling this right? That's Martial. Yeah, there it is. Thought so. Uh, Martial, how much is he? And what is passing to that? Only 74. So that's not really a good idea, is it? We're basically taking out Felix to bring in the same passing stat. No, that's what I want to get away from. We really are looking for minimum 80. Like, e even more. Even more. We basically need a cam that can play as a striker alongside Rashford. Any suggestions? Because I'm not really so sure right now with the chemistry. And if you are struggling with Kem, maybe just drop in Lorente. And then after our rivals rewards, that's why I've got to play well. I've got to play well. I've got to get at least rank two. Rank two, rank three, um, and trade. And then for our CDM position, I think I'm going to go for uh, Fred. Because Fred is... You go and look at the, his stats, right? Fred is more of a um, ball carrier, though. But he looks like a Wijnaldum, man. That dribbling is fantastic. The defending is there. The stamina, all right, lacks a little bit of strength. But this card looks fantastic. He is basically Wijnaldum. Uh, just with less passing? I don't even know. Like, looks like identical to me. He's 30,000 coins, and I drop him in here. And I don't know how I'd finish the team. Maybe just Brazilian, full Brazilian, maybe? Anyway, I'll think, I'll think about it. But anyway, boys, thank you very much for watching. If you've got any advice as to, like, what we're trying to build right now, it'd be greatly appreciated. 
Um, because I like the defense. There's, there's not really too many issues there. Eventually, I will um, get a few more coins together and get rid of Rafa and Grimaldo and find another like strong link pairing. Um, because Rafa, he's fantastic on the ball. I love him. He's got those overpowered shots. But eventually, we're going to want a bit more quality from, uh, from our players. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like and I will see you tomorrow. Don't be late. Four o'clock start. Team out. Peace.